Hey, Steve, thanks for joining us today. Really appreciate you uh, taking the time out to sit down with Rob and myself, man. Oh, thanks for having me. Glad to, always happy to talk to you, Alex and Rob. Always a fun time. You know, we had some fun chat even just before we jumped on. You know, always great to, to spend some time with you guys. Good uh, it's, good, it's good stuff. Listen, we're, we're bringing you on because um, you had some really good news come out today. Uh, and it has to do with the financials of the company, the success and momentum Voyager has uh, garnered over the last year. Um, and I kind of kind of wanted to be, uh, you know, one of the first excitable people to, to, to let this out into the world. But I mean, your revenues, uh, percentage wise, um, your, your run rate, uh, it has exponentially grown from last year. Um, and it, it, can you just, just talk about that for a little bit? Because it's got to be a wild ride, especially concurrently with the boom in, in crypto right now. Yeah, it's been an unbelievable 12 months for us. The calendar year 2020, although it was you know, terrible for so many you know, reasons with COVID and so forth, it was a great year for, for Voyager uh, we announced today that we are on a run rate from coming out of December at $20 million of revenue. A year ago, I think uh, we were about 200,000 coming out of December. So just do the math. It's, it's uh, quite a bit higher, um, you know, but it's really a testament to the team we have. Uh, we work really hard. The team is nonstop. Uh, you know, business is 24 seven and the team, I think feels like we're working 24 seven. Uh, they probably are. I, I don't, you know, I don't sleep that much, but, and I know the team doesn't, uh, but in addition, it's, it's, you know, it's gotten us the ability to get around guys like you and Rob and, you know, a community we've built uh, around Voyager and what we've built has been so big and so expansive uh, that, you know, we're, we're thankful for it. We truly are that, you know, I don't think these things happen without being around good people and having good support, whether internal or folks like yourselves. And it's really true. Uh, we're, we're very, very grateful for where we are. We have a lot more ways to go. January has gotten off to an unbelievable start for us with assets up, deposits up, revenue up, everything's flying for us. Uh, and we're excited about it, but it, it, it takes a village as they like to say, and the village isn't just your employees. Your village is the employees plus all the people you come in contact with and can make an impact on and then have an impact on us. So we're truly thankful. So no, I, I always said, Steve, the, the reason why things work out so well is because you jump in there and you take care of things like we talked about. I've had, I've had people say, hey, you know, I've, I've had this problem. And I was like, well, just reach out to, to, to Steve on Twitter and you do those things. So it's not like you can handle everything, but you handle a lot of things. And I think it goes a long way. And before we, we stepped on, we talked about just do the right thing just do the right thing and everything kind of, kind of flows into place. And that, that, that's the big issue. I never understood why people had a great product and they would screw it up by just doing the wrong things. Like see this pullback here? Yep. This pullback here, the original contractor, he took the money and he just took off. He was a good pool builder. I don't know what happened. We had to, you know, sue him and everything else, had to get, get a new, new pool builder. And I always tell my wife, I go, if you have a good business model and you know what you're doing, just do that thing and you'll make a hell of a lot more, uh, impact and revenue so it's the same thing with with uh, voyager when you do the, the right thing good things happen well it's it's truly that's how we try to operate and i try to operate in the culture of voyager is is just you know customer comes first do the right thing uh even you know with everything that goes on lead with your chin be open and honest about how things go uh, and good things will happen to you and so we've started that trend uh with the business and how we've been and we're so excited about 2021. We just think this year is gonna be so bullish for crypto. I mean, we all saw the announcement yesterday from uh, uh, the OCC. And I think mm -hmm. it just means that, that, that crypto is here. It's, it's 2021 is gonna be so bullish. I think Bitcoin's back up to 33, 34 again today as we're speaking. So it's gonna be a year of, year of the bull. Right. Yeah, it's um, it's definitely off to a good start. I, I'm happy the markets are flowing with us all. Um, you know, one of the things that I think is is kind of fit into great timing for you guys, along with these markets, is the fact of your LGO acquisition. You guys have been transitioning into, uh, you know, getting LGO on to on board with you guys. You're expanding into Europe. Yep. Um, I mean, how big a deal is that for you? And how bullish are you feeling both about the company and about, you know, where that's going to take everyone? Uh, we're, like I said, super excited for 21. 
uh, coming off such a great finish to, for 20. LGO is huge for us in the fact that it gets us into Europe. It's one of the, uh, we have a PSAN license in, in France, which is hard to get. Uh, we've got great partners that came on board with the LGO and working with us there. Uh, super excited about that. Super excited about, you know, our entrance into Canada too. Uh, over the next few months as we build out, you know, the, the capabilities there and work with the regulators there. Because I think that's the important aspect for us is always working in with the regulators about bringing things to market. And that puts, that sets us apart from a lot of people. And so therefore 21 is like, we're unbelievably excited. Yeah. But I can't I mean, say that off. Yeah, you should be. Exactly. It's going to be a, it's going to be a big year for everybody. So Steve, before we move on, talk to us about, well, I've, I got two questions. One is the Voyager token. So I know you had talked about tweaking things and doing some, some uh, alterations to what is going on with that, but just speak to us a little bit about what the Voyager token means, the utility and what it brings for just the cryptocurrency community at large. Yeah, and I know when we last spoke, I was talking about uh, uh, the Voyager token was my holiday project. Uh, and I started working on a, a complete uh, a revamp uh, and changing of the utility uh, the tokenomics of that uh, i'm in you know with my team today in in we've we spent hours working on that today as a team trying to make sure we bring something that the the, the users the customers the owners of the token they feel really excited about when we could bring it out to market uh, we also checked in with uh, our the developers on the security audit that's ongoing of the token so we can get that to market over the next you know, four to six weeks. Uh, security, obviously one of the most important things you can focus on. Uh, so we're working on that. But uh, you know, we've, I've, heard, I've heard all the negative uh, towards the plan we put out to the VGX token. I'm open again about it, uh, happy to discuss it. And I think you know, we've got the feedback. We've got a lot of feedback from a lot of the, the token holders and we're gonna come out with something better. I think they'll be really excited about. And that plan will have some stuff that's for now and for future stuff too that we're working on, whether it's margin, stock trading, all those things will be, you know, that's how we, we anticipate the token being used in that total ecosystem on margin, stock trading, uh, the desktop, and some of the things that we're working on. Okay, I like the sound of that. Yeah, it's, right. it's, it, look, it, it's, it's an important group to us, all those token holders, because they're valued customers, uh, some of them are shareholders and token holders, some are just token holders, but we think it's important to treat them uh, and all of them as as valuable as they are because you don't build a business as fast as we did without the support of a community and that community is extremely valuable to us. Exactly. And then of course, I mean, it's, it's gonna do well because you just, you just told us why it's gonna do well because you listen to the people as opposed to an exchanges, which I will not name by name. <laughs> but they don't do that. So that's why it's a simple thing. People want something, you listen to those people and you make that happen. How, how simple is that? Not a hard model. I think uh, it's been around for uh, since the Flintstones, I think. And uh, it just, it's the way it needs to be. And that's our first mantra is make sure we, we take care of customers and uh, we're excited about everything we're bringing to the table. Yeah, Alex does that with Trade the Chain. Yep. When, he, when he first launched it, there was a little bit of bugs here and there and he listened to what people wanted and all of a sudden, everybody's happy. It's amazing. Did they want, uh, Alex, by the way, did they want the, the great little cartoon characters you do when you, uh, when you put the, the uh, I look great in one of those. Someone thought I was actually that <laughs> strong and big, but I haven't been that big in 30 years. So, but if you can make me like that again, I'm all, I'm all in. Oh, a hundred percent. I mean, uh, the, your rendering of the artwork, the way you come out, that's a good character. I like the way, I got a couple versions of you. I actually, I think in one of those versions, I look bigger than, than John and Pete Nigerian. And if you can make that happen, God bless. You know? <laughs> Every time I will. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> Photoshop. You got to love Photoshop. Yeah, I got to love it. And then, uh, so before I move on to, I, I have one more question, but I was just thinking about the Voyager token real quick. I think when the Binance coin came out, I, I never really understood what, what the whole use case was. And then of course, as time went on, we saw what it could actually do. Well, it could, it could lower fees, you could do with margin, you could do all these great things. And it went from nothing to, I don't know how much it is these days, $60, $50, I have no so, idea. Yeah. So I look at Voyager and I go, well, that's a great brokerage because you guys are like the hotels.com of crypto, I always feel like. You, you, you're not just a hotel, you're looking at all these different exchanges going, we'll take these 10 and give you the best rates. So if you can use a token and do all these great things, 
that to me is like more of a value type of proposition than what another token is for another exchange. That's just my, my two cents. And the next question I have is something that I get on my channel, so I have to ask it. Celsius went down at one point and there was a different problem with uh, a attack and I had Alex Mashinsky in and he explained exactly what happened. But I know that there was an issue with Voyager and it went down for a small amount of time, but it did go down and it wasn't, there wasn't a, a scheduled maintenance because usually you guys send on the email beforehand. Yeah. So I think it happened in like an 18 hour to 24 hour time span. So tell us, just, just touch on that real quick, what happened and how's everything moving or progressing? Yeah, I think, look, it was a little over a week ago, we had a DNS attack. Uh, we found it really fast, we reacted. My initial decision, as I said in the correspondence to consumers was and customers was that the hardest decision I had to make but before we knew exactly what was going, we had a whole bunch of alerts and our processes said like, hey, you know, take a look at this. Uh, I, shut the I shut the system down. And, and although we said it was maintenance, it was the only thing we could say to customers while we investigated. Our initial thing before we even shut it down, we looked across all our exchanges, all our custody accounts. We knew everything was safe. And so we were able to say that and then, you know, dissect it and go back and figure it out. Um, and we were back up and running in, in like 18, 19 hours. Testament to the team. Um, I standard quote at, uh, after that 24 hours when people said, how you doing? I said, ah, we all just need a little bit of sleep because we basically were around, around the clock on a, our, our, our Google, our, our own Google Meet to try to make sure that, or Zoom or whichever one we use, uh, just to make sure we were all in touch and we were going through everything in our process. And the process worked, um, you know, and, and you know, no customer assets were affected. No customer PII was affected, and so we're you know we're happy we came through that, and and business is growing after that. And we're again, I think some of the things we've done, uh, we have a great team. Uh, lack of sleep, team moves forward, and we just try to solve problems and solve customer issues, and keep making a better user experience for customers. Yeah, no, Steve, it's a testament to you as a person, and 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 why people. Uh, you know, follow this company and use this company. Um, thank you so much for popping on just to chat with us during your busy schedule on the news and everything like that. I mean, former CEO of Lightspeed Financial, former top executive of Need Trade, now the CEO of Voyager. You guys are going global uh, this year with LGO. I yep. mean, you're not stopping anytime soon. Uh, no, not at all. No, uh, I'm in this for the long haul. I think this is... Uh, we're creating a new financial system, right? I mean, I think that's what we're all in this for. We're bringing an entire new financial system with new tradable assets, uh, and it will, you know, get into the old assets with securities and all that stuff. And we're so excited, you know, about 21, 22, and where we're going. Um, this is the new financial, you know, world that we live in, and and I'd rather be no other place than where we are today. Steve Ehrlich, folks, thank you very much, Steve. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.